I'm in a pissed off mood right now. Um, ignore, ignore the top one of my head from my little headband thing. Um, I looked up an old ex-friend because I was curious to see how they were doing. And I kind of like, you know, there was this little part of me that was like, I would never be friends with them again because of how I felt at the end. Um, but I just wanted to, like, hey, is every, I love their family. And I was like, oh, well, I'll make sure their family's okay. And I was curious and blah, blah, blah. And I found this TikTok video talking about me. And I know it was about me. And it was hilarious because she said, I made her isolate from people that I, um, I said things in a way to get her. I was like, whoa, wait, 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 oh my God. That's how you took it. That's how you took it. And it really pissed me off because she was the reason I learned, I really truly understood what gaslighting was. And I never wanted to understand that. I still freaking, you know, because at the end of the day, it's like, whatever. But she, she was a fucking gaslighter. She was a gaslighter. Her friend always had this weird vibe when, when it was the three of us. And I I tell her, I'd be like, listen, I really want to get along with her. I don't know what's going on. I don't get it. I don't know what I did. I don't, you know. And she said, oh, well, you guys just don't like each other. I'm like, no, 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 no. I never said that. And I told her this a billion times. I never said that. I never said I don't like her. I said there was this vibe and I don't know what it is and I want to talk to her about it and I want to solve it because I want to hang out with everybody. I want to get along with people. And, and she's oh, well, you know, if you guys just don't like each other. Da, da, da. And then, so there was one time the friend wanted to hang out with us every single day. And it was awkward. And when the friend wasn't around, she would talk about her. Now, keep in mind, before I came into the picture, they had their own, like, they had their friendship on and off. And she told me all the stories going on. And this happened before I came into the fucking picture. Okay? Where she's telling me all these stories about this person and saying, oh, she broke my thing like this and she never paid me and blah, blah, blah. And I'm listening. I'm like, oh, that sucks. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm listening and I'm like encouraging her like a normal person. I never sat there and said, you shouldn't talk to her. I was like, listen, I want this to fucking work out. I like her, but I don't know what the hell is going on. I get it that people might not vibe, but uh, let's discuss it. I don't want to just like, no, we don't get along, so she can't come and hang out with us. I'm just saying, there was this, this, when I came to visit her out of state, right? And, like, it was just, it was just awkward. And she was there every single day, and she was stiff and, and uncomfortable around us. And it was so obvious, and me being a super empathetic kind of person, where, like, I, I absorb people's vibes, not, like, in a pair of paranormal way but like when somebody feels a way I feel it like I can't like if somebody's in a bad mood and they're with the group I can't ignore it and be like well I'll, I will sit there and be like are you okay da, 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 da. and I've approached that that other friend several times like let's talk it out I would like to talk to you I really want to talk and and figure out what the hell's going on that turned into I'm trying to isolate her from people and then she took another situation where Facebook was doing one of those weird, like, your friend recommended, blah, blah, blah. And it recommended one of her friends. And her friend seemed cool. And she was, talk I was talking about her. So I said, okay, I'll add her. And that was it. And I regret that because she made it seem like I was fucking stalking her and I'm doing this. And I'm like, I wasn't doing any of that. I wasn't doing any of that. And you're going to sit there and say, I'm narcissistic.
sick. I'm the least fucking narcissistic person in the goddamn world. I will sit there and belittle myself constantly. Constantly. In that situation, I said, I don't know. I don't know. Am I doing something wrong? I want to know. I want to talk to this person and figure out the situation. Oh, well, you guys don't like it. No. No, I want to like her. I want her to like me. I do like her. I want her to like me. And I want to be like, okay, well, why is this all weird? You know, like, is it something you feel left out of? What do you want to do? And, like, sometimes I'm the type of person, I can't handle people every single day. And she was coming and hanging out with us every single day, being all, like, weird and antisocial. And I'm like, I can't handle that. I'm coming to visit you and have fun. I'm, I fucking drove eight hours to get there. And I feel awkward. And I just, I need a little breather. And she's like, I know, me too. And then she's trying to make it. She's trying to twist it. That I was the one insinuating all this. I was the one going in and being like, oh, yeah, you, you, oh, let's isolate you from all your friends. Bitch, please. Are you serious? There are some of your friends that I like better than you. There are some people that when, I, that when we ended our friendship, she blocked me, but I was the one that said bye. And she was pissed off because I said to her, she wrote me this long ass paragraph about this friend and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I, I, I don't want to argue with you anymore. I'm done. We had so many fights leading up to that point. And there were so many times I was sitting there like, why am I in this? Why am I in this friendship anymore? I'm tired. I'm trying to explain myself to her. She's not listening. She's twisting my narrative every single fucking time. And I'm getting tired of it. And at that point, when I saw this paragraph, wall of text, I didn't bother reading all of it. I read bits and pieces. And then I was like, you know what? I'm taking myself out of the situation. Because I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. You're not listening to me. You're saying bits and pieces. You're bringing up things that had nothing to do with why I was upset at all. And I'm done. <laughs> I'm just done. So I said bye. And we both blocked each other. Okay? And then a year passes. And I'm like, oh, I wonder how she's doing. I feel, you know, I don't want to be friends with her anymore. But I feel like, oh. You know, blood bygones be bygones. So I find out that like freaking two months ago, she put up a TikTok about me, saying I'm trying to isolate her from all her friends, and I'm just I'm this narcissistic. Bit. Oh please, please. We don't even fucking talk and you're still gaslighting the narrative. You're still going in there. When that was not the situation at all. It is not fucking fair that you get to put your goddamn opinion about whatever the fuck happened. And I gotta sit there and uh, be the narcissistic bitch that isolated you from your friends. No, that is not what happened. But you want to sit there and put your narrative in the whole time, not taking that there are two sides to the coin. There are two sides to the story. That was a, a different thing coming from my end. And I had said to you several times, I want to talk it all out with the three of us and see what was happening. I was not isolating you from anybody. In fact, for God's sakes, I loved hanging out with your friends. I loved a lot of the people that we were hanging out with. I got along better with your fucking husband than you sometimes. And you knew that. How fucking dare you sit there and put your narrative in there? If anything is narcissistic, that's goddamn narcissistic. It'd be like, oh, well, I, was, I got out of that. <laughs> oh, bitch, please. I got out of the fucking bad, toxic relationship. Actually, we both did. Apparently, if I'm isolating you from people, I'm... <laughs> wow, that's news to me. That's news to me. And you just put the cherry on top of the beautiful cake that was like, God damn, in the year since I last spoke to you, I freaking got myself from 216 pounds to 149 pounds. Got myself active every single freaking day. 
better myself. And I didn't feel that, God, you have me so depressed sometimes. Because there were times... It's, just, it's funny. It's funny the hypocrisy. Hypocrisy is funny. <laughs> Seriously. It really is because like I'm sitting here thinking, the shit you used to say about her. Oh my God. And I'm sure you would. And I used to sit there all the time thinking, she's saying shit to me about her. And they've been friends since they were kids. God knows what she's saying about me. And that's always the golden rule, folks. If somebody goes and talks to you about somebody, they're talking about you to somebody else. And I always keep that in mind. Granted, I, I, I'm guilty of it myself. And that's the thing. I, I'm not going to sit here. God, God freaking damn, I'm the least narcissistic person I know. To the point that I'm like paranoid about coming off narcissistic. I'm always paranoid about my shit. I have anxiety. All right. I take freaking Paxil for my anxiety. Um, and I can snap. I can, I can be mad and angry. Well, one thing I will never, one thing I do not do is isolate people. I don't isolate people. Oh, my cat, my cat's, she, she's freaked out by me. She's like, what the hell, mom? I tried so hard, so freaking, it makes me so mad that after a year, you're still pushing that story. I thought maybe she figured, maybe she realized the other coin and blah, 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 maybe both calmed down. And she's still, she's saying it like that, like I, that I went in and, are you serious? Are you actually serious? I'm glad the friendship is over. I am very, very, very glad. Um, God only knows if I stayed in that friendship. Because she was trying to be, oh, we can't be best friends, but we can still be friends. And I was like, no, 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 you don't understand how I work. I don't work like that. If you get to, if you get me to the point where I'm like, I can't, and I say bye, that's it. It's done. Which is hilarious that she ended the friendship. But I was the one who said bye. While well, she was the one who said we could be friends, but we can't be best friends. Like, that's funny. <sighs> I'm sorry. I, I, I need to get this all out. And I need to take a shower. I'm dirty. I gotta brush my teeth. My teeth are all nasty. Mm -hmm. And, um, but I was mad. Because I saw that and I was just like in utter and complete shock that something that's been sitting in my head for a year, instead of her kind of seeing both sides, it's still back again to like, no, my narrative was correct from the get go. And she's just this narcissistic and she's iso which was never true. That's hilarious. That's really hilarious. Oh, oh she was manipulated. What? What? Are you freaking serious? Because there were a lot of times I would shut my mouth and not say anything until she'd be like, start her freaking shit. And then there were times I was like, oh, I wasn't going to say anything, but I, I felt a little uncomfortable. And there was, you know, times where it, it, it was just like, it was tense all the time. And, and I just felt so awkward. 
And you save me a lot of money on gas going out to visit you. That's for fucking sure. And I got myself some uh, friends that I can stay healthy with and keep up with and work out with. And um, I can fit into freaking medium small clothing through all the shit that you gave me. Because I was like, I don't want this shit anymore. How's that for a narcissist? I'm a narcissist. I'm a narcissist. No! Ah! Whatever. Okay, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I just, I need to rant. And I've been wanting to put up a video kind of going into my weight loss because uh, I'm 149 pounds and I was 216 pounds some time ago. And um, I'm very proud of myself. I, I did something amazing I did it I stuck with it she was the <laughs> speaking of people she was a gaslighter she was a fucking gaslighter because every time I'd bring up a complaint oh well you hate this person uh, like, she'd just throw words in my mouth I'm like that is not what I said at all or when I was talking about weight loss that so here's the funny thing when we ended our friendship she had to throw in this whole narrative of like oh you do you you're like she just threw the fucking kitchen sink at me it was first it was about that friend which i was like okay that was random and then it was about um my weight loss and how she was disappointed in me and then it was about how my current job, I'm more miserable at my current job than I was at my old. And I, like, there's so many critiques of me. So if anybody, like, okay, first and foremost, you want to talk about get, getting out of a bad friendship with a narcissistic friend. You're sitting there throwing every fucking critique you can at me while telling me we can still talk as friends. And then you want to take the narrative and say that you ended the friendship. Yet you blocked me after I said bye. It doesn't matter because I don't talk to any of those people anymore. I cut everybody's ties off because I said I'm moving on. I'm done. I don't want to be reminded of her. I, I was I was so fucking depressed. I was drinking every, like, practically every night. Because as soon as the pandemic hit and I started working from home, I was depressed. And then my dad's sick. I'm dealing with him. And then dealing with this friend who's just gaslighting the shit out of me in every goddamn fucking thing I said. Everything was turned and thrown in my face. And sometimes you gotta protect yourself. Sometimes you gotta really stop and be like, what is good for my mental health? And that friendship was not good. Clearly not, because she was still twisting the narrative. And even if I stayed friends with her, if I listened to her and be like, okay, well, I need to calm down. Because that's what was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. I said, no, I can't. I'm not. I'm done with this person. I don't want to deal with this shit anymore. I'm done. Because you're not listening to anything I'm saying. And instead, you want to twist it and make me the villain. That's not how life works. Life is not a fucking book. It's not a movie. The, <sighs> but she was basically every... This text message, wall text, had critiques of everything about me. And I was just an awful, 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 terrible person. But apparently I'm a narcissist now. Um... And it's just funny, I'm seeing this, and and I, I just wanted to go up there and be like, that's funny, because um, that was a completely different, I don't know, maybe you, you time slipped to a different reality, because I don't remember being there, I don't remember <laughs> that happening with me. 
But, um, whatever. I'm 40 now. And, um, I'm going down a fabulous road. And I started my 40s off at a healthy weight, very active, have my friends, I love my friends, hang out with my friends. I'm not sitting here like crying over her like, oh, I can't go, my nightmare. Um, do I make mistakes in life? Of course, every human does. Okay, uh, but <laughs> I can tell you right now, the way you want to spin the narrative of how that friendship ended is not the truth. You want to go and tell everybody about that and let them think that? Whatever. I don't care. I don't talk to him anymore. But I'm going to put my goddamn truth on the internet because I deserve to be heard as well. I'm not going to just sit there and be the nice person and just be like, okay, I'm going to sweep it under the rug and just go on with my life and... You can go on with your life and blah, blah, blah. You, as soon as you put that video up on me, now I have to put my video up. So, there you go. And that's, that's all I gotta say. I got my rant out.